Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Shadowrun Returns. I'm your host, College Fade. It's episode one. I recently put out a poll to my Patreon supporters and asked them what they wanted to see next. It was a three-way tie. So I put the poll on Twitter and it was a three-way tie until the 11th hour. And Shadowrun Returns won, so this is what we're going to play. I'm going to start a new game. Dead Man Switch. This is Harebrain Scheme Studio. It's the same studio that brought us Battletech. They're awesome. They're really cool. It's a campaign. We're going to play it on normal. And we're going to build us a character here. So I'm going to play human because I'm born and I'm going to customize my character. I've replaced the default empty character with this guy's face so that he looks a little bit more like me. You go here and unlock this and can pick a hairstyle. Kinda is gonna look like me. I gotta get somebody with a beard because I got a beard. So there we go. I'm gonna continue on to that. We'll do our stats. Spend your karma. So I'm gonna play a character that's mostly a gunslinger. I'm gonna hire everybody else out. Uh, actually, yeah. Let's see. Range combat. One, two. Sometimes I'm overclicking and stuff. Three, uh, we're going to end up going for rifles throughout the game. We're going to take one point and dodge. And then what I want to do is I uh, want to have points and intelligence because this down here makes enemy hit points visible. Uh, <clears throat> and then that's pretty much it. Uh, you're going to get one point in charisma for, for conversations down here. This will give you some extra conversation options. And then you can see here, new etiquette. Every two levels you get uh, new conversation choices. I'm kind of a conversation geek. So choose an etiquette, corporate. Uh, does not cost karma, and each etiquette can only be chosen once. So there's corporate, security, gang, socialite, shadow runner. Well, of course, we're playing shadow run returns, so I'm a shadow runner. That's what I'm going to do. And we're going to go back up. I would really like to be able to take decking, but that's asking your person to do too much. So we really need to focus on... Oh, and we want to make sure we take dodge. Yeah, I did. So we got a point in dodge. We're going to end up going after rifles because they're really awesome. But what I want to do here is... Oh, yeah. Put one more point in quickness right there. All right. So we're going to go body quickness. This gives you hit points. Quickness is for guns. We're going to take ranged combat out. Then specifically later on, we'll, we'll delve into a rifle here and take that. We want to take dodge out to about four. And that'll be good for that. And uh, yeah, and the biotech. So we're good. Name my character. All right. Drake. <laughs> and this game has no voice acting, so you're going to get to hear me speak a lot. So if you've been one of the, my frequent... Viewers who've thought I'm an ASMR type of person, well, here you go. Here's your chance. Down and out. Your apartment, 3 o'clock in the morning. It's got four walls, a roof, and it isn't on fire. Even the cockroaches have fled in search of better accommodations. Not exactly a runner's dream pad, but right now, it's about all you have left. Running the shadows is all about feast or famine. One day, you're Nova Hot. Working jobs that allow you to eat at five-star restaurants. The next, well, you're here. This one's a famine for the ages. Slag and Fixer hasn't called. The money's run out. And then some. Sinless and free. Free to starve in the cracks of a society run by megacorps. Who just want your... Yen. Something needs a change, and soon. And so it's gonna... Yeah, you have a real... Junky little apartment here. All right, so let's see. Yeah, this is some of this is really funny. Your computer, state of the art in 2015, broke in 2051. All right, yeah. slip of paper with your bank balance, enough to cover you through the end of the week. Your notebook, calendar, contacts, and that kind of thing for your personal calendar. It's empty. And the two, be your contact list. Car to Detroit, Fixer, no response to messages. Dowd, a runner, he's dead. Felton Nash, a Fixer, missing since February. New Larry, runner, dead. Mm. 
None of that sounds very good. Put down your notebook. Hey, new objective. Answer your vid phone. Sam Watts comes on the screen. The screen leaps to life, making you squint against its brightness. The face on the screen is laughing. Sam Watts. Hey, buddy. Hope I didn't catch you at a bad time. He giggles. He's drunk again, or worse. Oh, man. You're zoned. Another giggle. Oh, don't bother with your side of the conversation. I'm not really here. Just one reason for this vid. Somebody finally geeked me. I'm dead. I probably had it coming. When you're an unsavory character like myself, you tend to associate with other unsavory characters who often partake in unsavory business. Like you, for example. So why am I dead? Who knows? Probably my fault. I wonder where you are right now. I bet you had a big payday and you're living high on the hog somewhere. Some of us are born winners and some of us are... Ugh, me. Hey, you remember that Renraku run when things went to hell and we lost Dowd? Or that makeshift saloon on the docks afterward? I really had your back that night, didn't I? Dowd. That's a name you haven't heard in a long time. I like this because the game jumps you into combat really early. It's really nice. Three years ago, a makeshift bar on the Seattle docks. The night Dowd went down. New Larry. You've been running with New Larry for about six months now. He's a combat mage with a bad tattoo and a bad attitude. He knew Dowd almost as well as you did. Dowd. Never saw anybody die like that before. Idiot. New Larry shakes his head. I hate this fragging city, Drake. It's wet and the rain feels like acid and I want out of here. We wait for the money. Yeah, sure, of course. I'll wait all night if I have to. Sam Watts says, I don't know, Drake. Sam is a good guy and can hold his own in the fight, but he's been hitting the bottle pretty good lately. Never on a run so far, but he needs watching. Sam Watt shakes his head. That run went sideways nine ways to Sunday. Now the fixer is late. Hmm. Smell funny to you? Hell yeah, it smells funny. Look at where he set the meeting. This was supposed to be a public place. Cut the dreck, Sam. Both know why Dowd went down, and it wasn't the fixer or some other paranoid chip dream of yours, says Larry. Sam smiles, a toothy smile. I've been waiting for this all night. New Larry has something he wants to say. Don't you, Larry? Go ahead. Spill it. You were sloppy. Sloppy? You think I was sloppy? You've been twitchy all day, son. Look at your hands. They're shaking. That true, Sam? You miss a beat back there? No, Drake, I didn't miss a beat. I was on my game the whole time. Remember? I was on point. New Larry was supposed to cover Dowd. Something dawns on him. Sam leans into New Larry, amused and dangerous. We were set up, and he knows it, don't you, Larry? What was that call you made before we hit Renker Renner <laughs> Renraku? How come you couldn't geek that guy before he unloaded on Dowd? I've seen you fling a lightning bolt, son. He should have been burnt toast before his gun cleared the holster. New Larry checks his watch, licks his lips, looks over your shoulder at the darkness. He's looking for someone, and it's not the fixer. Okay, New Larry says. I can see where this is going. You chummers are damaged. I'm out. Hmm... Did you keep us here long enough, Larry? He stops, and a smile slowly appears on his face. Looks that way. Sorry, Drake. I kind of like you. I just like the money better. We've got incoming! New Larry relaxes and throws you a dreck-eating grin. Looks like my new Renraku friends are finally here. They're going to take that hard drive off your corpse, buddy. We should choose our friends more carefully, Drake, says Sam. Uh, at least we have each other. You'll miss me when I'm gone, Sam says. 
Oh, and here they come. Leave the mage. Kill the others. Oh, and they missed me. And they missed my partner. The orc. No, oh, and he missed the orc again. Wow. Turn-based combat. You are now in turn-based combat mode. Each character on a team has action pulls. Spend these actions on movement attacks or using spells and items. Once your team's turn is complete, the enemy will move and attack. Additional tutorial information is blah, 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 blah. Close. All right. We're going to work on, let's see. We're going to get some cover here so we can shoot some people. I've got two different kinds of weapons. I've got this weapon, which is a pistol. And I've got, the, it's a... Uh, Fischetta Security 500, and I got the Beretta Model 70 Assault Rifle. Got a 99% chance to hit new Larry, so I'm going to do that. My other friend here, she can get some cover where? Right there. Or he can't. Sam. Sam can move over here. Let's take out this guy. Okay, and then my friend over here. Where do you want to be? Where can we get you cover? I can move you behind this guy. Let's do that. Yeah. Oh, and then what's he got? He's just got his fist, and he's got this. Ooh, new Larry took one there. Oh, and he missed my guy. And somebody else missed me. And a third person is moving, and he's going to stand out in the open. Oh. This is good for us. We're, I can get full cover over here, or I can take two shots. I'd kind of like to take two shots. Let's take New Larry out. Okay, and then we're gonna we got a 99% to shoot Renraku security. We got some really good shots there. Uh, yeah, you're gonna need to move, aren't you, bud? Ugh. Okay. I'm gonna move him right up here to full cover. Not because I need to, but <laughs> there we go. He's dead. All right. What do you got? You got a 99% chance to hit that person. Take two shots. Renraku security. Oh, and she missed. And here come the reinforcements. Uh-oh. One of those guys looked like trouble. So what do I want to do here? I'd prefer right here where I'm at. I think I have cover in both directions. So it's probably easiest to shoot these people. He's the 99% for me to hit. And then I'm going to have, I'm going to get two shots and have to reload. That worked. And my friend here, I can get full cover there and partial cover there. I'm going to move and try to kill. This person who's close, he has a shotgun in addition, and that person's dead, which is great. So you can come up here and get partial cover there, or you can take full cover here, or full cover there. I'm going, I feel like flanking is going to be a really important thing to do here. Let's try to take that person out, because he's standing out in the open, and they did, they killed him. That's good. Oh, and I finally got hit. I got tagged. Here comes more. No way. Okay. Wow. Uh-oh. Oh, and he hit. He hit Sam. <gasps> and he summoned a creature. Oh, no. Oh, unfortunately, it missed my character. Okay. I'm out of ammo on that gun. Which is probably fine. Um, I think getting... What what are we here? There's no, it doesn't say full cover there. There's full cover there. Hmm. Okay. Well, I got this pistol. I can switch to that. And I can try flanking this person. in Raku security. You, my friend, you get full cover over here and you're going to be kind of guarded from that person. 
right here. Can you see them from there? I'm going to hope so. Yep, and you need to kill the shaman. Missed the other guy, but you hit her. Shotguns are pretty awesome. Um, he doesn't have any great cover, does he? He doesn't have a way to get covered from both of these people. Which is the shame of it. Uh, can you... Man, if you can kill that shaman, it'd be a big deal. I don't like going out here because this person's going to get a flanking shot at me. But we got to kill that shaman. Because he's got that extra character up there. Yeah, that helps. He takes a shot and misses. This person's going to shoot their fireball and miss. Their mage. I love this this whole... Uh, the shadow run stuff it's it's cyberpunk and magic at the same time which is kind of awesome um, okay can I, uh, I need to keep shooting so at 99% I need to not worry about moving for better cover I need to shoot this person and kill them okay Sam can you you've got two shots left on this yeah that's what I'm talking about and you can't, line of sight is blocked. Okay. Uh, what do you want to do here? Because, yeah, you can move up there. You can get two coverages there, or you can shoot at this person at 71. There we go. That You dropped that person. Good. Let's flank this guy. See if more reinforcements show up. Oh, he hit my orc. The mage did. Okay. I'm going to switch to my gun. I'm going to reload. Confirm for one. Yes, I like that. It even asked you the question. That's really nice. Smart. I played Shadowrun Dragonfall. I've never played this game. I mean, I've played like this intro mission one time to get a feel for the game. Uh, you can't see from there, but if you move here. Line of sight blocked? Really? There? It's blocked? Oh, son of a buck. Okay. Yeah, and there's no overwatches in this game. I can't believe you can't see from there, because it looks like you should be able to see him. Oh, I guess not. It looks like you should be able to see him. Huh. Well, I've kind of wasted my turn there, so what I'm going to do is reload. Not that I need to, but... Can you see this person? You're at 89% to shoot him. Uh, shoot this mage. Oh, and he does 14 damage to my orc. Okay, what do you need to hit him? 60%? If you move to here... 78%? That's an... Oh, and one of those tagged him. around here buddy let's go for the shotgun you got one really good shot left here Sangoma lowers her gun eyes Sam you okay Sam Sam's breathing is heavy and he looks shaken that was a hell of a thing <laughs> you did good Sam you were born for this gig Drake me not so much I think I'm gonna hang it up Find a nice brothel somewhere. Stay drunk until I croak. What about you? Hmm. Me? I do this. It's the only life I know. Well, you're a dumbass, and I'll drink to you when you're dead. Ah, who am I kidding? I'm not gonna outlast you. Guess you can drink to me. So that happened three years ago. And now Sam's dead. Poor Sam. Seems kind of BS. You stare at Sam's face on your comm link. Shake off the memory. Focus. Sam Watts says, I had your back that night, didn't I? Now, I'm asking myself, who would care if I die? Who would give a rat's ass? Better or worse, your name is at the top of the list. Maybe it's the only name on the list. So I set up a dead man switch to send you this call. 
I got a hundred thousand. What is that? Is that a yen? I'm gonna call it a yen. I got a hundred thousand yen insurance policy payable when you find who creases me alive with a conviction or in a body bag with justification. Either works. Contact my law firm, Rogers, Mengert, and McCain when the job is done. They'll know what to do. He turns to his left. Chet? The camera swivels to show a well-dressed man sitting next to Sam, lawyer. Pursuant to Mr. Watt's wishes, Rogers, Mengert, and McCain has installed a secure dedicated phone line so you may contact us directly when the task is complete. We will begin a verification process. Note that you must also be on a secure landline to access this number. We will not accept transmissions from comlinks or other devices. The camera swivels back to Sam. Sam straightens up, talks seriously, first time. Look, Drake, I've led a direct life and I've probably left a direct corpse. I've hurt people. I hurt myself. I don't know. Maybe I just want the last word. Maybe I just want someone to give a crap that I sucked air for a while. What do you say? Hmm. <laughs> I'd say my schedule's pretty clear right now. Hope you just said yes. I've got a locator chip slotted in my head these days. If, when, my heart stops, it'll activate. That's how you'll find me. See you on the slab. Hmm. Rest in peace, Sam. See you in Seattle. And away we go. Off into the wild blue yonder. Dead man switch. Your plane hits the SeaTac tarmac with a jolt. Welcome to Seattle. The chilly northwest rain obscures your vision as you step on the tarmac. Before long, you're sitting in the cramped backseat of a cab following the signal from Sam's locator chip into the heart of the Redmond Barrens. Organ Grinders, a legal chop shop for body parts, whether from the living or the dead. If you're hurting bad enough for yen, this is the place to sell a limb or an organ. It's also a good place to dispose of an inconvenient body when making a little cash on the side. This franchise is the closest thing the Barons has to a morgue. It seems this is where Sam Watts' body has ended up. You open the door and are assaulted by the smell of death and bleach. It's kind of fun playing a game where I have to do a lot of reading for you guys. Alright. Actually, what I'm going to do is save the game. Save the game. Save it. I'm just going to save it right there. Save it over there. Yes. Confirm. I had to do a... Oh, and let's see. I'm just going to see if there was an alt or something. Guy says I'm in the back. I did a reading for a friend of mine who was doing a big project for her for her class in college and uh, she they were they were doing a reading of Moby Dick so everybody was taking a chapter and reading it so I read a chapter from Moby Dick and recorded it and I had a lot of fun with that and I thought man it would almost be cool to to read novels to be a reader you know to do audiobooks but the problem is I don't know how to do all the different voices <laughs> I only really have my voice and that's it all right so this is Dresden Standing over the table of a dead body. We're going to zoom in. I like how this game lets you do this. Dresden. Hovering over the recently departed is a small dwarf whistling a tune. His broad grin says, I love my job. A little more than you'd want or expect from someone in the chop shop trade. As you approach, he looks up with a lopsided grin. There's something kindly in his eyes, the way it might just be a stray reflection of chrome and surgical tools. Sorry, didn't expect any visitors at this hour, and some asshole at corporate took my receptionist. What can I do for you, sir? Are you the coroner? I'm John Dresden, the organ grinder's branch manager here, so yeah, that makes me this franchise area's coroner, too. And you are? Mm. Drake... I represent a man named Sam Watts, and I'm here to look into his murder. Dresden frowns. Interesting. A dead man makes for a strange client. But what makes you think he's here? Sam had a locator chip embedded in his skull. I followed it here. I see. Well, you're right. He's here. 
Not too many people know about the murder yet, though. The press haven't caught wind of it yet. What with it being all the way out here in the Barrens. So, who told you he was dead? <laughs> Sam's digital ghost. When his heart stopped, I got sent a recorded message asking me to bring his killer to justice. Guess he had a hunch. The dwarf raises his eyebrows, a smile wiping the suspicion from his face. A dead man switch, eh? Fascinating. I was working on him earlier. He's over here. Show me, El Dwarfo. He's my second Emerald City Ripper victim. The third one was downtown. Ooh. Emerald City Ripper? He sighs. Not my title. That's what the Seattle Press insists on calling the killer. All I know is that like the original Jack, our Ripper knows how to handle a scalpel. But this one's even more twisted. He or she always removes an internal organ from the victim. Hmm. What prize did the Ripper take from Sam? Watts's liver was cleanly cut out. Hmm. What about the other lucky contestants? The first victim's heart was missing, and the third had the spleen removed. Dresden, get out here. McCluskey. I'm here about the new Ripper Vic, Sam Watts. Towering over the Dominion of Coronor is a homicide detective right out of central casting, if you ignore the tusks, pointed ears, and Neanderthal brow. You can smell his cheap aftershave from a mile away. McCluskey. So, this new Ripper Vic, Watts, name is familiar. Didn't his mother kill herself a while back? The coroner frowns. You so, you insisted at the time. McCluskey chortles. Come on, she offed herself. I had it on very good authority. Now, let's go, Dresden. Give me something to work with here. This Ripper case is my ticket to the lieutenant's badge. Dresden says, I've already posted everything I know. The killer stuns the target with a combination of drugs and magic, then removes a single internal organ while they're still alive. The perpetrator is most likely right-handed with a slim hand that knows its way around a scalpel. Has a decent understanding of human and metahuman anatomy, too. So, I'm looking for a whacked-out surgeon? Not necessarily. I don't know any surgeon who still uses scalpels anymore. These days it's all done with computer-controlled lasers. Could be anyone from a military field surgeon to an antique medicine aficionado. You're no damn help, dwarf. The Lone Star detective finally notices you. You note know his superhuman powers of observation. <laughs> Who the hell are you? <laughs> oh, and if you had strength for you, you could say none of your business, Lumpy. That's nice. Mm. Are you the detective on this case? was hired by Sam Watts to assist you in finding his killer. McCluskey. The dreck you were. You get anywhere near my investigation and it'll be you on the slab, human. He looks back to the dwarf. Dresden, get me more. I'm putting someone in a cell or a box this week and claiming my promotion. Well, isn't he just the charmer? Dresden looks amused. Do he always make friends that easily? <laughs> well, he didn't really seem like my type. Dresden cocks his head to one side. Be straight with me. You're really going to work for the dead man? Sam was there when I needed him. I'm going to return the favor. Fascinating again. Detective McCluskey isn't interested in anything but Detective McCluskey. He's... He'd convict his own mother if it meant another ten yen a week in his paycheck. Plus, he's on the take. Dresden pauses, considering. You have honor, after a fashion. I try to honor the dead in my work. 
So we have that in common. What can I do to help you? On the take? Who's paying to hold his leash? I don't know, but someone with some major pull has been looking out for McCluskey's career and wallet. What are organs worth these days? A whole healthy body can be worth a bunch of yen, but individual organs? Not worth as much anymore, what with all the synth and cyber stuff on the market these days. Organ grinders only deals in the recently deceased. There's plenty of other chop shops that aren't as picky, though, and they don't care whether the bodies come from either. Who still uses scalpels? Doctors still learn how to use them in their first year of medical school, as do coroners, but neither profession uses them much anymore. It's possible some of the slimier chop shops still use scalpels, I suppose, but I wouldn't know where to look. What was that McCluskey said about Sam's mother? The official report is that she committed suicide about a year ago. You don't buy that though, do you? My name's on the report, but my actual findings left some doubts. I can't say that it was suicide, but there were unusual bruises on her upper arms, and she didn't use her dominant hand to pull the trigger. I was told to drop it, so I dropped it. I just need to know one more thing. Where was Sam killed? Dresden looks up at you intently for a moment before speaking. You know, I might be able to do you one better. Why don't you poke around those body lockers in the back and see if you find anything useful? <laughs> mm, okay then, I'll go do that. All right. Oh, and what is over here? Get a little marker. Item picked up. I got a basic med kit. Oh yeah, so what's this? It can hold alt and it'll highlight things. Sam's body is half covered by a sterile surgical sheet. His face an ashen white for the first time without a smirk on it. Below the chest there's a small pencil thin incision covered in dried blood. Beyond that the corpse is immaculate. It would seem that the killer knew exactly what they wanted from him and took it. Next to Sam are several plastic envelopes containing the evidence found in his body. You can examine evidence through the bag without spoiling it. Look at the business card. Moving things around, you can make out that it's a card from a place called the Seamstresses Union. This is something handwritten on the back, but blood has made it illegible. Look at the cred stick. It's a standard, cheap, unsecured cred stick. No way of knowing what's on it without slotting it. Take the cred stick. You slot the cred stick into your PDA. 300 yen is added to your account. Look at the purple shirt. It's Sam's shirt. Several of the buttons are missing and blood has thoroughly soaked it. The bag sloshes a bit in your hand. Look at the handwritten note. You can only see part of the note, given the torn off bits and bloodstains. Sam, I feel terrible that we argued. Some missing words. We have been blank, long, blank, to say I'm sorry. See you there, love, Jessica put the bag down all right Jessica hmm. and then there's gonna be some stuff to loot over here item picked up basic main kit we're gonna want to grab all the stuff that we can out of here what do we have here let's go look the cold storage drawer is labeled John Doe but the internal thermonet is set to 21 degrees Celsius open the drawer cold storage drawer opens to reveal the fully clothed body of a man, arms folded across his chest. In addition to sporting some of the brightest orange hair you've ever seen, the body seems to be in very good condition. Whoa! Easy there! Jake Armitage pops out. In one quick move, he jumps down from the drawer and stands before you. For someone who just woke up in a morgue locker, he seems unfazed and pretty well put together. He spotted Data Jack drilled into his temples and some shamanistic tattoos peeking above his collar. An interesting combination. I told John to wake me up at 6 in the morning. Is it 6 yet? Doesn't feel like it's 6 yet. 
Uh, you were just sleeping in a freezer. A freezer for dead people. Jake Armand just says, Don't tell me you haven't considered it. Cheaper than a coffin hotel. And the service is just as good. He chuckles. Well, so much for a good night's sleep. On the plus side, I noticed you haven't killed me yet, so that's good. If you aren't after me, then what's your story? The latest Ripper victim, did you know him? Sam, eh? Glad somebody cares. We used to drink together every now and then over at the Union. Decent enough guy, always in trouble over something or other, though. Jake yells towards the other side of the room. John! Is this guy cool? Dresden. Yeah, he's on the level. Working for Sam, believe it or not. Some sort of dead man switch. I thought you could help him out. Maybe even stop moping around the shop all day. Thanks for volunteering me. Jake pauses. Might be sizing you up, but it's hard to tell behind those shades. All right, then. The name's Jake, and you are... <laughs> nice to meet you, Jake. I'm Drake. <laughs> that, was, that wasn't that was planned at all. And well-mannered, too. Such a rare thing in this city. Well, it sounds like you're taking a dive into the deep end here. John's right. I might be able to help you out. I was with Sam the other night, the night of the murder. Poor guy. He was hanging at the seamstresses' union that night, tripped out and rowdy. I'd been laying low there for a few days after a bad run. Miss Kubota asked me to throw Sam out, so I did, but out in the alley, some gangers got the jump on me. He winces. Damn. Maybe I need some soy calf after all. John, could you grab me a cup? Get your own damn cup. My hands are dirty anyway. Now, what's wrong with this intestine? You hear a loud squelching noise as Dresden continues his work. Thanks, John. You're a real pal. Anyway, there's a big fat corp bounty on my head. Like I said, my last job didn't exactly go according to plan. Out in the alley, a few Halloweeners got the jump on us. Damn gangers thought they could turn a quick profit off my head. Jake smiles, and you get the impression that didn't work out so well for the gangers. Sam stumbled off during the fight, though, and that's the last I saw of him. Until he turned up here, dead on arrival. Reminds me of my last stay in this place. You've done this before? It's a long story. I end up in the morgue more often than the average guy. Yeah, Jake, he's a regular. Should have started a rewards card, Jake. A few more visits and you could get a free night stay. Jake laughs. I'll hold you to that, John. Anyway, they found Sam's body less than a block away from the Union, missing liver and all. Tell you what, you look like you can handle yourself in a fight. I could use some backup to settle the score with those Halloweeners out there. Their leaders got the whole gang searching the barons for me. I need to get rid of that asshole. In return... I'll take you to the place Sam was murdered. It's not safe to hit these streets alone at night. Trust me. Jake eyes you up and down. And maybe I'll throw in some decent supplies while we're at it. What do you say? Well, hmm. It's nice to have someone watching your back out there. Assuming you can trust them. I get it. Gotta be careful in this trade. I'm not one to go back on a deal, though. John can vouch for that. Plus, you know where I'm hiding out, right? Doesn't leave me a lot of room to sell you out. What do you say? I do like a bit of street justice every now and then. All right, Jake, count me in. Great. Been hiding out here ever since the run-in with those Halloweeners. Whiny bunch of gangers, but this stretch of the Barrens is their turf. Hell, I'm surprised you even made it in this Morgan one piece without packing some heat. He yells over his shoulder, Dresden. Very funny, Jake. You can sleep in the dumpster tomorrow. So, you need a weapon? Yes. I like to keep my distance. Got a rifle? You don't like library windows, do you? Never mind. Here's a rifle you can borrow. Got an AK-97. So, ready for an evening out on the town? Hmm. Just a minute. Tell me some more about these gangers first. Well, they're one of the nastier gangs in town. Their symbol is a flaming jack-o'-lantern, but you wouldn't like their version of trick-or-treating very much. 
Around here, they're led by a troll named John Paul. He's got all the Halloweeners in the Barrens looking for me. Can we take him out? Maybe I can breathe a little easier. All right. I'm ready. I'll follow your lead. The Halloweeners aren't looking for you yet. Okay. So off we go. We have a companion and we have a gun. Let's make sure. What do we have? How's, how's our gun? Oh, it's inventory. Character inventory. Let's see. So we got our gun. Weapons. We got one good gun. It's equipped. We don't have any cyberware. All right. Well, I like where this is going. Let's save the game again. I don't know if there's a quick save yet. I haven't. I haven't been able to figure that out, but that's cool. One of the first characters I made, they actually have a, <laughs> I called him Riddick. He, they got a character that looks just like Riddick. It's pretty awesome. So I called him Riddick. That's what I started the game with. And then I was like, you know what? I might want to do this for the YouTube channel. So, so, uh, I've been kind of holding on to this game thinking I would do it on the YouTube channel. And then of course the choices were this or, uh, or I still want to do Gears of War Tactics or, other side and there was something else too but y'all chose this is cool the redmond barons run in the sea out sprawl and sooner or later you'll find yourself in the redmond barons doesn't matter your business the barons doesn't like you take one part radioactive wasteland three parts dog eat dog slum and a dash of tourist trap and you've got a recipe for mean as hell you leave the sanitized death and formaldehyde of organ grinders behind, entering the anarchy and desperation of the streets. Jake stops a moment to breathe deeply, filling his lungs with motorcycle exhaust, radioactive dust, cordite, and who knows what else. He exhales with an expression of wry contentment. The stench and grind tell him he's home. Oh, and the game auto saves when you transition. That's nice. Oh, look at that fancy bike there. New objective. Find Jake's stash. Ooh, and there's a person over here. Who's this guy? Does the bus stop here? Who's this person? It's got it. Vlad. Vlad has a... A, uh, a speaking thing above him. So I'm going to click on him and see what he says. As you approach, the man sizes you up. You can see the age-old fight-or-flight equation running behind his drug-clouded eyes. Beneath the track marks on his arms, you spot a set of two t tattoos that indicate he is, or at least once was, a shaman. Hey, man. You okay? Vlad. Yes. No. Yes. No. I saw something. It's going to kill me. Oh, calm down. I'm Drake. What's your name? My name is... My name is Vlad. Vlad! Those are some nice tattoos. Are you a shaman? The word shaman strikes a chord. Or shaman, if you want to call it that. He seems to shake off some of the mental cobwebs. Yes. Yes, I am a shaman. I thought so. Vlad! What did you see? See! Yes. I saw something. The other night I saw a spirit so dark, so alien, that Vlad trails off and shudders. Where did you see this spirit? Just across the street from the seamstress's union. Hmm. It's gone now, Vlad. It's not going to kill you. You're safe. Th 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 thank you. I think you're right. I feel better now. More whole. Now I think I need some sleep. All right, Vlad. Seamstresses Union. Do we have a map? Do we have a map? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, but here's a here's a thing. A yellow dot, which obviously seems like it might be a Sarah. Sarah is in front of Dandelion Eaters. I love the artwork in here. Sarah. Her clothes may be dirty, but this woman is far from downtrodden. Hey, not that it's my business, but I wouldn't go that way. Why, uh, why, what's going on? Just some Halloweeners stirring up trouble again. She points to the south. They rode in this morning on those fancy bikes, set up camp in the old street market. They've been marching up and down the street all day, shaking down anyone that wanders past. 
Jake says, typical. Well, odds are those are the guys we're after. Hmm, sounds like a friendly bunch. You gonna be safe out here? Sarah laughs. You think I'm dumb enough to get caught out in the open by one of those assholes? Nah. I know these streets like the back of my hand. Worry about your own skin. Anything else I should know about these gangers? Hmm. Well, their leader's a big old troll named John Paul. Real piece of work even for a wiener. <laughs> Jake says, yeah, that's him. He checks his pistol. <laughs> well, thanks for the heads up. No sweat, she says. That's funny. Okay, let's go over here. What do we got? There's going to be some gangers over here. What do we have here? Clear away some stuff and click. Hidden in the garbage strewn alley is a high tech safe with a mag card reader in the front. Open the safe with Jake's mag card. With a smooth hiss, the safe opens to reveal a collection of gear that is perfectly matched for your skills. You take the gear. Well, that's nice. Oh, here come punks. What kind of gear? Inventory. Oh, and I got a... Okay. Oh, jeez, what's going on here? Hey! You guys get some early shots in there. That's not nice. I'm going to move over here and shoot this guy. Mugger. Alright, Jake is wounded. This guy, Street Thug. It's 18% chance to crit him, and he's got what? He's got a pistol and fists. Oh, I'd, like, I'd prefer to just shoot one of these guys one at a time, but... Let's, let's, let's not have to fight two guys. There we go. He's going to punch me. He's going to hit me with a bat. Oh, he's going to swing and he's going to miss. Oh. I'm going to bury this guy. Oh, he's dead. That's what I like to see. So, welcome to the Barrens. I guess I'll need to find a new spot to hide my gear. Good dead drops are hard to keep. He chuckles. Well, at least they were too dumb to break my maglock. Now that you've got some gear, let's go deal with those Halloweeners. Halloweeners. Alright, so oh, I have karma to spend. I'm gonna save them. So what do I got here? This is what my gear is. I just got some different stuff here. And what about Drake? He's got an Ares Predator. Oh, he's got this. That's nice. Flamethrower. He's got a data jack. He's got what? And a heal wound. Well, hot diggity dog. Okay. Well, I need a quick save button. I gotta figure out what if there is one. I don't think there is. Confirm. Alright, we're gonna do the next little bit of this. Oh, what's this? Who's over here? Worried man. The man before you appears well-mannered, but nervous. Excuse me, sir, I don't know you, but you look like you can handle yourself in a fight and we need some help. What's your problem? I only fight when I've been paid to. Oh, oh, we can pay you. Some thugs are shaking down the market we've set up here. It's been getting worse lately. I don't think we can afford to pay them forever, but no one will stand up to them, and Lone Star isn't about to get involved. Hmm. How many of them are there? And how much are you paying? I think there's only two of them right now. I can't talk about the price, but uh, Mrs. James will surely reward you fairly. <laughs> well, my current client is pretty patient. <laughs> Where are they? Oh, thank you. Just keep heading north. You'll see it at the end of the street. Okay. So, the end of the street is in this direction. It's funny, the game says this is north, but I would I would, I would have thought this is, is east. Maybe it does. Maybe this mean this is north. But they said the gangers were south. Hmm. 
We're going to have to get used to north and south, east and west over here. Okay, what is this? Oh, there's the market right there, and there's something going on over here. Who's this punk? Halloween or Sentry. Hey, asswipe. Take another step forward and we're going to plant you right here. This is Halloween or property now. Jake Armitage says, this is one of the two that got away. If I hadn't missed my shot, these idiots would have given up and moved on by now. Wait a minute. You're rolling with Jake? Bad idea, chummer. The Halloweeners are collecting that bounty. And killing you? Well, that's just a nice bonus. Oh, really? Oh, you get that shot off before we even get an enter in the turn base mode. You get a shot off at me, eh? Alright, well. What's this? Oh, man. Where am I? Hmm. I can move one place and get some... I can get half cover there. That's not really useful, though. This, though, it's like no cover. Hmm, it just lets me crouch, is all. What is this person? Halloween or mage? Ooh, Halloween or sentry? Sentry. Hmm. I'm going to move. Because it's going to get me out of the way here. Hit points, 20. Yeah, let's kill the mage. Jake, you got a pistol and what else? And then you got your mage book, which is what? Yeah. A line of fire controlled by the caster and directed at one target. Or increases the target's chance to hit by 12% last two rounds. We might have to use that on us next turn, but right now, I think I just want to shoot this mage. Okay, that worked. I'm going to get some cover here then. Yeah, because that guy just took a shot and then he's going to move. Oh, he's going to be right out here in the open. And that guy has a shotgun, so we need to shoot him. Alright. I And we can do this in any order we want to. Oh, how pretty. Okay, I like that. So I can... I got two chances to shoot this guy, though. I'm going to bury him. Yeah, because at 99%... It's, yeah, that's nice. Drop him. Jake. A line of fire. AP1, cooldown 2. Go over here. You stand on these things, and I can't... Oh, it said plus one lucky. Oh, and it did 14 damage to him. And then he shot at me instead of Jake. You dummy. And I got a 99% chance to unload on you again. I'm gonna... <gasps> oh, jeez. Who's this guy? John Paul shows up. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, oh man, I gotta get out of it. I gotta get out of the dodge there. That's gonna. He's got a big ass weapon. Oh jeez. He's got a big weapon. Um, okay, I'm gonna go over here. John, what do you got? This is increase the target's chance to hit by 12% last two rounds. I might need that next round. But right now, I'm just going to take a shot. It's 99% to hit him. If I take two shots. Oh, and I hit him both times. 10 damage. He's going to run up there and swing at Jake, isn't he? We should be able to kill this guy. Pretty easy. John Paul says, Whoa, Uncle, Uncle, I was just 
playing with you. I'll call off the rest of the Halloweeners. Jake, call it even, yeah. <laughs> Dirt bags like you don't need second chances. That's right. I don't go for that stuff. Oh, Drek, he says. And he's done, John Paul. Deal with the Halloweeners, gang. Karma gain one. Visit the murder site. All right. Oh. How nice is that? Okay, so this is... What, is this the murder site? Or is this the Halloweener thing? This was the... So the yellow mark there was just for the Halloweeners. That's cool. I can dig that. Okay. Wow. I love the artwork in this game. This is fantastic. I like the ability that you can scroll in and out here like this I miss being able to turn around after playing the dungeon of Nahobok and a few other games like XCOM not being able to spin around is really freaky but I understand why I mean this is all 2D graphics and stuff it just it's all painted and everything and it looks fantastic uh, we're going to end the episode there it's episode 1 I'm thrilled to be playing with it, this on the channel I'm thrilled that there are people who wanted to see it it's certainly going to put my voice to task <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, see you next time. As always, like the video, subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, leave a question or comment that helps the algorithm and my Patreon is listed in the description below, uh, and, and and let me know what you think of my poor voice work. I may I may just try to speak in a normal voice and not try to do the voices for the characters. We'll see. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.